My Pretty Vampire is a new graphic novel by Katie Skelly. It's the story of a beautiful vampire striking out on her own for the very first time since she was sired. With minimal scripting, this book is done in a sophisticated pop art style that I've come to love from the one and only Katie Skelly. It is published by Fantagraphic Books, and here's what I thought. Hello, people of Earth. Um, that's the wrong intro. Uh, hello, comic book junkies. <laughs> it's the Frog Queen here, and today I'm coming at you with another comic book review. Today I am reviewing Katie Skelly's My Pretty Vampire, which is one of my most highly anticipated books of this year. I can't tell you how excited I am to read this book. I've been following Katie Skelly on social media for... Oh, about, about a year and a half and she started posting um, about this book about a year ago and ever since I was like when can I get a copy when can I get a copy well you can finally get a copy as I stated in my little introduction the story follows a young fledgling vampire as she escapes the care of her brother and gets to know the world as a vampire uh, unfortunately that means leaving a trail of corpses and attracting a lot of attention of more than just like a detective but basically it also a very interesting looking group called the order so Skelly obviously loves fashion and art that's very 60s inspired uh, and in particular, I have to say, um, I really like the inspiration put into this book with regards to how the Order looks. The group known as the Order um, has these animal masks, and it totally reminded me of the Wicker Man, uh, the original Wicker Man, not Nicolas Cage's Wicker Man. And it's just so perfect, along with the clothing and the hairstyles and the characters, um, which are very 60s inspired in my opinion, uh, you can see that the color palette throughout the entire book really matches this time period, while also still feeling very modern. Also, it really impresses me when I see an artist pulling off something that's very rooted in the vintage uh, and making it new and updated. As with all Fantagraphic cover, or hard covers, um, it's well worth the retail price. This was at uh, $19.99 American, which is like, you know, $1,000 Canadian. Um, and it's a quality printed book. Uh, really love the binding. Uh, anyone who watches or reads uh, my articles knows how much I truly hate dust covers. Um, so I absolutely adore a hard cover that is bound uh, with the artwork right on the cover. It's gorgeous. Ta-da! It's nice and big. I really like the size of it, you know? It looks really good on the shelf. And although there is no implication that there will be a sequel to this story um, as the book ends on a fin note, I would truly love to see a second volume with these characters. I feel like there's so much more they can do. There's so much more that could happen. I really, really do hope this is just the beginning of this um, story and that there was more to come. And you know what? I think it's time to wrap this review up. Truly, one of my top 10 books of 2017. It will be on the big list at the end of the year where I shout out to all the favorite things that I've read, all my favorite things that I've read. And you know, until next time, read something good. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as everybody says, and I'm so certain everybody's tired of hearing that over and over again every time they watch a YouTube channel. Um, but uh, it does help me out with subscribers because it helps me with the algorithm gods of YouTube um, that seem to like not recommending my videos to anyone ever, 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 ever. Also, I am starting a Patreon page, um, which I'll put out an official video for. Um, because I'm looking to improve, improve the quality of my videos, I'm not super happy with this webcam. It's kind of laggy and I, I don't know why. So I would really like to get like a proper uh, video camera, not a webcam, and uh, do videos that way. Even the phone, my phone, which is four years old now by the way, <laughs> has a better camera on it. 
um, and doesn't get lag like that. So uh, the only problem is you can't really mount it. It's very difficult. I don't want to be shaking around all the time, trying to videotape myself with the phone. And uh, of course I want my microphone, which uh, has much better uh, quality of audio. So that's what I'm trying to go for. I'll talk about more about that in the future. And uh, yeah. Vampire. That's 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 how I'm ending this video. That's it.